welcome back guys welcome back to the vdc space today we're going to be doing a basic channel design in civil 3d before i get started i would like to ask you guys to please like subscribe and share if you already subscribed thank you hit that notification button because i upload bim modeling tutorials three times every week i cover different topics from wastewater rosy networks bridges buildings and so on and if you are new please subscribe and also thank you in advance so uh, when it comes to channel design in civil 3d uh, they follow the same workflow as they do when it comes to road design so it's basically generating your surfaces uh, and then your alignments and then your profiles and then your assembly and then your corridors and then your corridor surfaces and then you can generate your quantities after that so uh, here we are in uh, civil 3d uh, 2024 so uh, the first thing is i just loaded in the surface that we used on the previous tutorial so if you guys want to have it you can just go to my patreon and download the surface so you can actually use it for this uh, particular tutorial but obviously i will also upload this file after i'm done with it so the first thing is the surface is loaded so i'm just gonna go to alignment and say alignment creation tools and then i'm just gonna uh, rename this alignment to alignment dash one and then i'm just gonna leave everything as it is so uh yeah i think i'm just gonna leave everything as it is so uh, if you want to be a uh, uh, Parentic, if I can put it that way, you can actually change this to uh, to to a water infrastructure or something like that, uh, other than the road if it bothers you. But uh, just to keep this uh, tutorial short, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. So I'm just gonna say uh, okay, and then I'm gonna uh, draw my alignment. This time I'm not gonna use a tangent with curves. I'm just gonna use tangent with no curves, and then select it, and then I'm just gonna start from this point. And then I'm going to place the second point right there. And then the third point is going to be placed right there. And then I'm going to press escape. Perfect. Now I'm going to say, I'm going to close this down. And then I'm going to create my profile surfaces. So I'm going to go to under create design again. I'm going to go to profile and say create surface profile. And then I'm going to load in my NGL and say draw in profile view so i'm gonna make sure your alignment is selected so i'm gonna rename this profile to profile dash one and i'm gonna say next and then i'm just gonna leave every setting as it is and then i'm gonna say create profile view and then i'm gonna place my profile right there so this is what we have now the next thing is i'm gonna create my uh, vertical alignment for for our channel so i'm gonna select my profile view and then as you can see these show up so under the launch pad i'm gonna select my profile creation tools and then i'm just gonna rename this to va for vertical alignment and say dash zero dash one and then i'm gonna say okay so and then i'm gonna draw my tangents i'm not gonna use the one with curves so i'm just gonna say draw tangent and then i'm gonna start from this point and then i'm just gonna take it uh, so i'm just gonna choose a random point right in the middle like that and then the third point is gonna be there and then the last one is gonna be right there and then i'm gonna press escape so this is basically uh what we have so i'm just gonna close this down and then after that uh we're gonna have to create our assembly so you're gonna go to assembly and say create assembly i'm just gonna rename this assembly to assembly dash one and then i'm gonna say okay so i'm just gonna place my assembly right there after that i'm gonna select my insertion point of the assembly under under the launch pad you're gonna open up the tools palette so that you can get the the, uh, the library of sub assemblies that you can use so obviously this is what we have when it comes to the trenches and the channel and obviously we're going to use the first one as our basic so i'm going to select it and then place it right on this insertion point so this is what we have obviously you can select the sub assembly go to under the modify sub assembly you're going to go to sub assembly properties and then you have the information and then also you can modify your parameters 
and obviously you can modify your parameters such as depth the width the side slope and so on so you you guys can uh, enter your own configurations when it comes to this so for me i'm just gonna leave it like that and this is basically what we have so after this uh you're gonna go to i'm just gonna close this library down so i'm just gonna go to corridors and say create corridors so on my corridor i'm just gonna rename this corridor to corridor dash one and then i'm gonna select my assembly so i'm gonna select uh so I've selected my assembly and then obviously I'm going to have to uh, select my profile also. So there's my profile and I think everything is all set. So I'm just going to say OK. And then our corridor is going to be uh, set based on our assembly and also our profile. But another thing is we're going to have to set our targets. So I'm going to go to I'm going to select on these three points and um if i can just extend this so i'm gonna go to surfaces first okay let's see what we have here so we have our back slope elevations and back slope width height elevations and so on so if i select this the first one i'm just gonna select my surfaces ngl and also okay let's see what we have so we have our vertical alignment we have our surfaces so for our let's see okay let's just let me just uh press escape let me just say undo uh, undo so i'm just gonna create corridors again and then I'm going to select my assembly. So this is my assembly. And then my profile. Okay, selected my profile. And then I'm going to say, okay, yes, my target, my target surface is the NGL. I forgot this, this part. So I'm just going to say, okay. And then everything is selected. So I'm going to go to i'm gonna go to these dots so i'm gonna have to set this up also so for this one um we have to set up our surfaces so our surfaces i think it's already set up so this one i'm gonna uh, select my vertical align actually i'm gonna uh, select vertical alignments for all of them and say okay and then i'm gonna say apply rebuild corridor and say okay now your corridor is uh, built so if i select it and then right click go to object viewer and then i'm just gonna rotate this so this is basically how your channel how your channel looks so this is basically how it how it looks i think it's 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 looking good at the moment so i'm just gonna close this down and the next thing is uh, we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to set up our our datums and so I'm just gonna uh, expand this and then right click on our corridor go to properties and then we have our parameters and codes and feature lines so I'm gonna go to surfaces and then I'm gonna add um, so I'm gonna add create a corridor surface and then I'm gonna set my, my my link to bottom links and then as you can see we have this datum so I'm gonna add datum under that and then uh, I'm just gonna leave it like that go to boundaries and then I'm gonna select that uh, corridor right click and say corridor extend as outer boundary and then I'm gonna say apply rebuild corridor and say okay perfect now this is what we have now the next thing is in order for us to generate our quantities and all those things the first step is we're going to have to set up our sample lines so after that i'm just going to press enter and then i'm going to select my alignment one so i'm just going to leave this okay i'm just going to rename this to sample line collection dash one and then i'm going to say uh for so for my for my uh for my corridor so we're gonna use it for for my corridor and then say okay and then i'm gonna go to 
uh, this option and say by range of stations so i'm gonna set it at 20 meters increment and then i'm gonna say okay and then press escape and this is what we have now your cross sections are going to be generated at 20 meter increments so after that uh, we're going to have to go to uh, analyze actually yes analyze and say com compute material and then we have our alignment we have our sample group line and they're already selected so we're going to go to okay so the first thing is we're going to have to set up our surfaces and also our data and it seems like we don't have that option right now it's uh, we're gonna have to generate those so let's just cancel uh okay let's let's say undo uh undo our sample lines so go to sample lines again press enter our alignment uh rename this to sample line collection one and make sure these are selected go to okay set this to range by stations say okay press escape go to analyze again compute material say okay let's see what we have now you're going to select ngl for your surfaces and all yeah, for the data you're going to select the corridor surface that you created on your corridor properties and then make sure it's set to cut to cut and fill and then you're going to say okay now your corridor uh, your cut and fill quantities are created so you're going to go to a total volume table and it's set to cut to fill your set your alignment is set to alignment one your sample line group is set to the sample line group that you created and then your material list is the one we are creating so make sure you uh, your your settings your every your configurations and your constraints are set right so you're going to say okay and then you can place your quantities like that now you have your total cut and fill volumes in relation to your channel and also your earthworks so if i can just uh, select everything right there right click go to object viewer and rotate this so this is how your channel looks in relation to your earthworks so yeah this is what we have now if i can just close it close this down and then go to and then select the sub assembly and go to sub assembly, sub assembly properties and then go to code let's see what we have so the top of our channel um, so i'm just gonna escape so i'm gonna go to my corridors right click and say properties again go to surfaces create another surface uh, corridor surface and then set my specified code to uh, top and then my overhang correction to top link and then add the, the code under those that certain corridor surface so i'm going to go to boundary again and then select this one and then say apply and then rebuild the corridor and then say okay so let's see how it looks right click object viewer so this is actually how it looks now if i can just press escape so we have our quantities we have our cut and fill uh, cut and fill so i'm just gonna go to home so i'm just gonna say section views uh, create multiple section views and then uh, make sure your alignment is uh, created so my section views i'm just gonna name it uh, views uh, dash one and make sure your sample line group is selected and then you're going to go to next i'm just going to leave it at production and say next 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 and leave everything as it is um next again and then on this part yeah i'm just going to leave it as next and on this part so the total volume i'm just going to add it in and then say create section views and then i'm going to place it right there Okay, let me press undo so that I can place it. Uh... So I'm just going to name it views dash one. And next, next, next. And then I'm going to add my total volume, create section views, and then I'm going to place it right there. So this is what we have. Um... 
yes uh, this is actually uh, what we have so if i go to anal analyze and say go to um, material volume no actually total volume compute material say okay and let's see uh, cut material so yeah i think everything is fine if everything is set all right so we have the cut uh, we have let's see where the fill can be so we have the cut so this is basically the cut then yeah then i see uh, this is the fill we have the fill also if i'm not mistaken yeah we have the fill right there we have the cut right there so everything is set all right so yeah that that was the basics of uh, designing a channel in Civil 3D, it follows the same logic and uh, process of uh, designing a road. So you create your surface, you create your alignment, your profiles, you assemble your corridor, your corridor surfaces, you generate your materials, you generate your sample lines, you generate your materials and uh, yeah, your volume uh, tables and also you create your cut and fill volumes and then you yeah, you export everything so that uh, everything can be uh, quantified. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I uh, tried to keep this as short as I could. Uh, and I will see you on the next tutorial. And please like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you on the next uh, tutorial. Peace.